Okay, probably uh, we can continue and see progress joins. Uh, so yesterday uh, we started discussion on time series supply planning concepts. Uh, to start with, uh, we discussed about a probable network. Uh, let's go to that one more time. So we took an example of one finished good, uh, which is manufactured in one plant and then can be shipped to a central warehouse. From manufacturing plant to a central warehouse. Uh, when we manufacture it, we can also consume few components within that, and those components can be purchased from a vendor, right? And then uh, from the central warehouse, it can be also dispatched to the regional distribution centers, from where it can be uh, dispatched or shipped directly to the customers, right? So this becomes our network. Now, when we look at this network, we should be able to also realize what kind of master data from ECC perspective uh, it would require. Uh, so we will go through. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Those master data also, and then we'll see what kind of master data would be also required from IBP supply perspective, right? And then we also talked about few business functions uh, a few roles which would require to cover this end-to-end -end supply chain uh, network, right? Starting from uh, production planner, material planner, production scheduler, uh, SNP planner, uh, or operational planning, or distribution planner, or distribution planning, etc. Right? Uh, <clears throat> now, I assume uh, most of you have a exposure to ECC master data. But let us try to cross check, right? What kind of master data that would be required from ECC perspective? And then uh, can we relate that, right? And then uh, let's try to see what will be the important fields within that master data, right? So, first of all, we are talking about a finished good. We are talking about few components, right? So, from ECC master data perspective, I will just try to write it here. ECC or S4 master data, you can say. What information is required is a prerequisites material master should exist, right? Now, we know that material master in ECC has few basic views, uh, basic data views, which holds the information at a global level, uh, which also has sales specific views uh, with reference to a sales organization, distribution channel, division combination, uh, and have a sales related information. Uh, we will also have MRP related views for planning, right? Where we will have information regarding MRP type, lot sizing procedure, minimum lot sizes, and so on. Right? Planning strategy and so on. Uh, and then we may have some additional views from quality management perspective, accounting perspective, and costing perspective, and so on. Right? So one of the key master data for us is material master. And since we're talking about planning, then we should be focusing on those MRP specific views and their fields. Right? Those information uh, will, will be brought to IBP as part of the product master data or location product master data. Uh, apart from the material masters, what else we would need? Uh, from ECC configuration perspective, we would need plant, right? So plant configuration such, right? So here, plant could be manufacturing plant, it could be warehouse or distribution center, etc. Right? But that's a ECC. Uh, enterprise structure configuration, right? Which becomes one of the master data from IBP perspective, right? So definitely prerequisite would be these plants should be created as part of your configurations and available in ECC master data. And then you can have a HCI interface to bring this plant or warehouse information into IBP as a location master, right? Uh, apart from that, you would need customer masters in ECC.
Now in this example, I'm taking a simpler example that in our case also, we are mapping the sold to customers uh, as the uh, customer ID from the IBP master data type, right? As we discussed yesterday, we can decide based on the uh, business requirement whether we should be ma I should be mapping a real sold to customer, a real ship to customer, or any aggregated level of information like uh, channel, uh, maybe aggregated uh, customer aggregation at the district level or region level or country level and so on, right? So that uh, I can aggregate the information at that level and plan accordingly from supply planning perspective. Uh, then, uh, since we are talking about manufacturing process, right? So we already mentioned here. So another ECC master data type, which is required would be bill of material, right? Which will help me understanding to make this finished good, what kind of components have to be consumed, right? In what proportions? So that's a bill of material master data type. Then, we will also have resource or work center as another master data type mentioned. Now, taking taking an example that this finished goods uh, are packed on a specific machine, right? A packaging machine. So I'm will have to create a packaging machine as my resource or work center in ECC, and then I can bring it back to the IBP as one of the master data. Uh, next part would be, uh, I know the bill of material information. I know the resource or machine on which uh, the, the finished good is going to be packed. Now I also need to list out the operations required to do this packing, right? On what machine this packing is going to happen in what operation sequence, etc., and what is the production rate? Uh, from the capacity calculation perspective, from the scheduling calculations perspective, et cetera. So that information is maintained in recipe or routing based on your uh, scenario, whether it's a process industry or whether it's a discrete manufacturing. Okay. And then uh, I need to create another common object to link this bomb and recipe information in the production version. Right, so we will have this specific ECC related master data or it's for related master data that needs to be created in the source system and use the HCI integration to bring this information as IBP specific master data. I take a pause here and see if you have any questions on this master data objects specifically from ECC perspective. Right, I assume that you are aware of these objects and uh, at some point of time, you would have used those in your system. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Now, yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's go ahead. Okay. Uh, Apart from that, what could be the mass data uh, that would be required? Okay, so let's let's try start revising the mass data types from IBP perspective, what we discussed yesterday, right? And then there would be some additional mass data types probably we will we will discuss today, right? So if I just scroll on the right side. And then I'll try to mention the IBP master data. So from IBP master data type, we will have product master data. We will have location product. Now, the source for these two master data types can be same, which is material master. Because material master in ECC has global view, basic data views, also has location specific views, right? MRP is planning specific use, material and plant level, or material and location level. 